For this lesson, we will be applying the Pythagorean theorem. And yes, they are word problems. So we're gonna read the text, we're gonna mark it. And for the Pythagorean theorem, we're actually gonna draw a picture and then we'll solve the problem. But the formula that we must know is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, well, let's start by actually reading the problem. A car travels six miles due north, then makes a turn due west. It travels seven miles west. How far is the car from its starting point? Well, you probably just want to add the six plus the seven, but we're really talking about the distance that is a diagonal distance. So when I hear the word diagonal, I know that I'm going to be using this formula. Let's mark the text. A car travels six miles north, and then it makes a turn, and it will go seven miles west. So when we're doing that, let's draw a picture. Here is my little car. Yes, I am traveling north, and it is a straight line. My line might not look too straight, but we're going to pretend that it is. And now I am going west. Well, they did say that this is six miles, this is seven miles, and now we are going to go ahead and we are going to connect the two distances so that we can see that we do have a right triangle in front of us. When we do that, now I need to decide which side is missing. Well, remember the hypotenuse is always directly across from the 90 degree sign. It's kind of like it's pointing at it. So this is letter C, and that's what they're wanting us to find, that distance. So you know, I always start A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Looking at this, it does not matter. Here is my A, here's my B, you could call yours either one. So I am going to write six squared plus seven squared is equal to C squared. Remember, we always must square these, add them before we can take the square root. So it's 36 plus 49 is equal to C squared. When we go ahead and we add those, we get 85 is equal to C squared. Well, we do need to take the square root of both sides, finally the C can't, the C squared can become a C, so I end up getting C is equal to, and when I say equal to, when you put that in your calculator, you get something that looks like this. But I will tell you that the directions will usually say round to the nearest tenth, so let's do that, because that's what makes sense. So I'm underlining my two, which is my tenths place, looking at my hundreds place. So the distance is 9.2, and they did say it was in miles, so we wanna make sure that we do label our answer. And there's the answer for the first problem. Okay, well, let's go to the second problem. Pete has a 15-foot ladder. The safety instructions recommend he should have the base of the ladder six feet from the base of the wall. He will lean the ladder against the wall. How high will the ladder reach on the wall? All right, well, let's mark our text. We know we have a 15-foot ladder. We know that they want us to make sure that when he leans the base of the ladder, it needs to be six feet from the base of the wall, okay? And what are we looking for? How high up does the ladder actually um, go up that wall? So again, don't laugh at my drawings, but here, there's my wall and I'm labeling it, okay? I am looking at this information and it says the ladder must be 50, it's a 15 foot ladder, it must be six feet from the base of the wall. So here's my, the wall, and they're saying make this six feet. 
before you put your ladder down so that you get a nice secure um, support system. So yep, there's my ladder and I've made it so pretty. And here I have 15 feet. So they want us to find how high up on the wall does this ladder reach? So we're looking for this distance. And I'll just call that, um, I, I'm gonna call it X for right now, but then we're gonna decide, is it A squared? Is it A, B, or C? So hopefully our building is standing straight and that's why we have our 90 degrees there. And you can always assume that your building will be standing straight. So again, I'm walking across and this is my letter C. So we have the hypotenuse. Let me change this so we have the A and the B. I'm gonna call this A and this B. So this A is what we're actually looking for because we have B is six feet, C is 15. So when we set up our problem, again, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, we do not know A, we do know B, which is six right here, the distance from the wall, and we do know that our ladder is 15 feet. So as we're working this problem, we need to first multiply. So six squared we know is 36. 15 squared, 15 times 15 is 225. In order to solve this, we must get the A alone. So I am gonna subtract 36 from both sides, and I get that A squared is equal to 189. At this point, you can go ahead and take the square roots of both sides. So when I do that, I get A is equal to 13.74, and it continues. But again, the directions asked for it to be rounded to the nearest tenth. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to look at my seven. I have a four there. So my A is going to round to 13 and seven tenths, and that is in feet. So this is the distance up from the ground on the wall. And here we go. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.